like a volcano eruption, fire and black smoke billowing into the sky, towering over the largest city in occupied Crimea. Sevastopol, the new front line in the 14-month war, the aftermath of a drone strike, laying waste to a key fuel depot, fueling Russia's invasion. The roughly 1,000 square metre site swallowed in flames. This naval base is home to Russia's Black Sea Fleet, who blame Ukraine for the attack. Kyiv almost never publicly claims responsibility for its attacks, but it has repeatedly declared in recent times its intention to retake the Crimean Peninsula, which Russia illegally annexed in 2014 to international condemnation. There's been a surge of missile attacks in recent days, after a period of quiet by both sides. The strike comes just a day after Russian missile attacks return to Ukraine, in the deadliest barrage since January. Four children were among the 25 killed. Remnants of former residents left behind as friends and family waiting for loved ones hold on to hope. For Sahai, though, any hope vanished with his home. What can I say? I have no place to live. My neighbours are gone. No one is left. <laughs> While tragedy has become reality for the people of Uman, for those who call Ukraine home, the future remains uncertain. John Lyons, ABC News, Kyiv.